Once again, the sentence in a sexual assault case is being criticized as too light. The accused, a former high school athlete in Western Massachusetts, will not spend any time behind bars. Michelle Miller is following the case. According to documents in the case, 18-year-old David Becker assaulted two unconscious females at a friend's house party in April. The victims told police that all three had been drinking and fell asleep in an upstairs bedroom. Later that morning, victim number one said she awoke to find her pants and underwear down to her thighs. She told police in no time did she consent to David touching her. Victim number two told police that Becker assaulted her too that night. The next day, victim number one says Becker texted her, just wanted you to know that I am really sorry. She replied to him, don't even worry about it. It's all good. She told authorities that she didn't know what else to say. Becker was charged with two counts of rape and faced the possibility of two years in prison. The judge sentenced him to two years probation, no jail time. Becker's attorney defended the sentence saying, we all made mistakes when we were 17, 18, 19 years old, and we shouldn't be branded for life with a felony offense and branded a sex offender. But the judge's decision has been widely criticized for being too lenient. Lori Levinson is a professor at Loyola Law School. I think there's a strong outcry because there's a perception among the public that we're not taking these cases seriously enough, that we're not protecting the women. Carla Martin was classmates with Becker. This whole sentencing shows other people, other victims of sexual assault, that if they say something, no justice is going to happen. A spokesman for the DA's office here says that one of the accusers said in her victim impact statement that she didn't believe jail time was necessary. Maurice court watchers say the fact that neither of the accusers were present in court may have been a factor in the judge's decision. Michelle Miller in Palmer, Massachusetts tonight.